Welcome to In Space Astrology Horoscope for Thursday, May 24th of 2017. I am astrologer David Palmer, the Leo King, here to illuminate the collective consciousness. Well, tonight is my big webinar, the June 2017 Horoscope, unlocking the doors at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Make sure that you join me live so you can answer questions, be part of the whole entire show live. Get your registration now at InclusiveAstrology.com. And my rates are changing on June 1st, so this is the last week to book a reading, and we are booking up quick. Email my assistant, Lauren, at AstrologerDavidPalmer at gmail.com to book a reading with me now. But before we take a look at all the planets, let's take a look at the Leo King's Planet Energy Meter to understand what all the energy is for your... Thursday, and I'm sending you lots of great energy. I am sending you lots of love and light. I'm hoping that you have an awesome, amazing, and spectacular, wonderful new moon Thursday. And I'm putting that energy meter at the extreme position. Woo! I know we've been all waiting for this new moon. It could actually be, oh, well, I want to say it's like popping a zit and the relief of it, but you know what? This one is about the shifting in your mind. That is because we are in Gemini, and the new moon is in Gemini, and it is all about changing your mind, looking at new thoughts, facts. But more importantly, this is an interesting time. We've got Mars, which is also adding to the Gemini energy. So when you have the sun, you got the moon, you got Mars all in Gemini, boy, it is a very intense Gemini crazy circus show. <laughs> but when you also add to the fact that that Mars aspect is starting to oppose Saturn, and it's starting to come into a sextile to Uranus. So Mars is in a really weird place, right? It wants to break free and do whatever it wants and go into all these crazy directions, but Saturn's saying, hey, look, at, there's lots of other options available here. Don't trip out, believe in a positive solution. This has been a hectic time as well because Venus today is at exact square to Pluto. Now, Venus is in Aries in detriment, which means it's not in its most fun place to be, and it's squaring Pluto, one of the planets Venus does not like only when it's in bed with Venus. Uh, <laughs> Pluto likes Venus, but Venus only likes Pluto if there's a sexual situation. Now I'm going way off target, but I'm teaching you guys astrology here. But when you have Venus square Pluto, it brings up the underbelly of relationship issues, of self-worth issues, of projects that might not be going where you want to go. It also brings forth some sort of asking of a commitment. You're committing to a certain aspect now in your life. You're gonna make a commitment to a person or not could bring up a lot of truths and, and the changing of mind is the biggest aspect with this new moon in Gemini. Also because of the fact that we got to look at Mercury. Mercury is Gemini ruled and it is in the sign of Taurus. So your self-worth, the things you're manifesting, the things you want. It's now come to the 10th degree, stepped into the second Deacon, so we're now moving into some higher degrees of manifestation. And what, you know, directly we really want in our life is very much connected to this. A Venus square Pluto is also highlighting the distaste, the things that we don't like, the things that we do want to have in our life as well. And that is where we're at now. We're changing our mind about things we don't like anymore. We're changing our mind about things we liked at once. And it's all kind of flip-flopping on itself. And there's a big transit that I've been talking about for a long time which was five years ago, um, the May 20th eclipse, which five years ago is kind of closing at this door. The portal opened last week, and here it is fully closing that five-year cycle because the dark moon finished here in Taurus, and we're really moving with this new moon into a whole new energy. And, and this is a time that we have to be prepared because even though the Venus transit's coming to, um, you know, not, it's not a fully over, just a squaring Pluto, for this new moon. This month is really about making big commitments, big new choices, and really, you know, being responsible with our actions, really looking at things in multiple directions before we act, and making sure that we don't regret the things that we can do to ourselves, to other people, and so forth. That's what this new moon is all about. There's been a lot of circus energy because when you deal with this much mutable energy in a square and you deal with it with Mars, it can feel like a wild circus show. We do have Uranus to kind of send us to the heavens and give us a way out that we don't even realize is there. It's a little bit like when Pinocchio goes to the crazy island full of donkeys and gets stuck there and how crazy it is and how to get out of there. It can feel like that in a lot of situations in our life right now, but at the same token, on a higher positive level, this is us changing our mind and realizing maybe it's not as bad, maybe there, we don't have to go down some crazy roads and maybe 
we need to make proper choices in our life and not determine or predetermine exactly what something is by just what we think right away, but maybe do some more research in our life and change our mind about our, some of our own ego things that we've identified with. So there's a lot about, you know, when you're looking at what you like and you don't like, making sure that you're looking at it all the way through and then making the choice. And I don't think that right now is officially the time to make the choice, even though this is a new moon time. I think that time is coming sometime next week. We'll talk about it, of course, if you watch the Leo King app. And the card of the week, or sorry, this new moon is the Page of Swords reversed. So the information is definitely not correct. There's more things that you're going to want to scavenge. Sometimes this is people talking up a storm, saying they're going to do things, and then they don't. This is also where information comes not clearly or, or in the way that you would want it to come. This is also a really weird card because, you know, it's about really making sure that, you know, the message is delivered correctly. Maybe you say something and it doesn't come out right. Maybe you want something and the information might seem off. If it feels off, don't don't do it and wait for the right feeling and the right information to come that feels whole and connected. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you for being a part of the Leo King app. I truly appreciate it. You're missing these videos every day if you're not on it. Subscribe now at theleokingapp.com. Thanks so much for all your support and I will see you tomorrow.